I'm back. Road Trance for the Matrix and Road Show. Well, something interesting coming out on the internet this morning. As we know, Bob Iger recently was reinstalled as the CEO of Disney. And that, of course, has led to speculation. By the way, Indiana Jones 5, the trailer dropped. And it was nothing more than a meh. Oh, hi. that name is terrible. Dial of the Destiny or whatever. Who cares? Uh, it, it doesn't look great. It, it truly doesn't. Um, so, which leads to more speculation about things not looking great. Of course, there's we have long since speculated that uh, Kathleen Kennedy most likely uh, would be out after Indy 5. We don't think that's any big news, frankly. Um, it's what a lot of us suspected would happen. Now, one of the other rumors that's been going on out there is the fact that, of course, Lucasfilm has no self-awareness. They, they, they will not listen to the fans. Fans absolutely hated the C- sequel trilogy, absolutely hate Disney Star Wars, and that Force Awakens through the Rise of Skywalker uh, set of three films. So in turn, that of course sparks speculation out there that there's rumors that they may actually make like a sequel to those movies. Those movies that greatly underachieved at the box office because the fans hated those movies. Um, look, The Rise of Skywalker should have been a $2 billion grossing movie. It made like 980000 The Last Jedi should have been a $2 billion grossing movie. It made $1.3 billion because it did not get repeat viewings. Neither did The Rise of Skywalker. And uh, it led a fan revolt like we've never seen before in the industry um, of people voicing their displeasure. So it only makes sense that Disney probably wouldn't listen to the fans at all and try to course correct. That leads us to this. Now, again, there's speculation out there that they may want to do a sequel to the Skywalker saga that they ruined, and Daisy Ridley was spotted at Lucasfilm. That's right. She even took a picture. Uh, She recently had lunch at the offices for Lucasfilm. It should be noted. A lot of business gets conducted during these kind of lunches. And she even posted proof online, a photo of her at uh, Lucasfilm. My God, the cringe is real. This is uh, StarWarsNewsNet.com, and and this trended on Twitter this morning. Ray actress Daisy Ridley has revealed that she had recently had lunch at Lucasfilm. While she denies that there are new plans in place, Well, considering uh, Disney has put a choke order on Kathleen Kennedy to not talk about future Star Wars projects, I don't think it's a surprise that Daisy Ridley is not going to admit that they're talking about future Star Wars projects. She did take a moment to reminisce about the filming of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker and the subsequent press tour. Daisy really shared a couple of interesting images on her Instagram via a pair of stories uh, from Star Wars leaks. The first of these is revealed that she recently stopped at Lucasfilm in San Francisco, California. She shared a picture of the interior of the offices showcasing part of a painting of a man from The Empire Strikes Back along with a statue of Yoda. There we go. There's the painting. There's the statue of Yoda from the uh, the offices of Lucasfilm in San Francisco. There is a picture of her. Nothing saucy happening. Just a lunch visit. But now feeling so nostalgic because this was three years ago. Yikes. The Instagram story from Daisy Ridley naturally sparked fan speculation about the possibility of her returning to the role of Ray sooner rather than later. However, a few hours later, she added a bit of clarity 
by claiming this meeting followed a lunch with the studio. She noted that the occasion happened about three years after she and her co-stars from The Rise of Skywalker and director J.J. Abrams got to ride an exclusive preview of The Rise of the Resistance attraction at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge expansion in Disneyland. What's worth noting is that it has been rumored that this meeting isn't necessarily the only one that happened between her and Lucasfilm after The Rise of Skywalker. It has been rumored some of her co-stars from the sequel trilogy have had additional discussions with the studio. These discussions do not necessarily mean that Daisy Ridley or anyone else involved could be committing to future appearances for Star Wars as there are other projects at Lucasfilm that talent may be interested in, and it's just as possible that the lunch meeting was nothing more than a lunch meeting. I don't buy that. Nonetheless, it provides interesting food for thought as we wait for the next batch of movies and shows, speaking of which one such project is indicated to be set after the events of the sequels and may feature characters from those films. So we'll have to wait and see if there was more to this meeting than meets the eye. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, it would be completely business as usual for a completely tone-deaf Lucasfilm to actually green light and go forward with these characters from this Disney sequel trilogy that everybody couldn't stand. No, we don't want to see the continuation of Kylo and Ray or Raylo. We don't. We don't care about these characters. We want to forget that it ever happened. If there's any justice one day, they will scrap this and completely reboot the sequel trilogy, just like they do in horror movies, and act like those three films never happened. But of course, they're not going to do that. And the Skywalker saga has been ruined forever. I don't buy the fact that she was there for a lunch meeting and there was no business conducted in said meeting. I don't buy that. I think they're probably they're probably getting very close to rolling forward with something that's either going to be a movie or a television series for Disney Plus that's going to tie into the uh, and be a, a sequel or something that has something to do with that awful sequel trilogy. And she posted proof that she was at Lucasfilm headquarters. Tell me what you think, Matrix and Roadshow fans. Daisy Ridley, Ray may be coming back. I know so many of you are probably real happy about that. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now.